What's up Star Wars fans, today I want to talk about Obi-Wan Kenobi Episode 6. That's right, tomorrow, June 22nd, we get Part 6 of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. And although we don't have a title or an episode description, we do have two big hints as to what's coming in Episode 6, and both of those came at the end of Episode 5. Remember, Roken tells Obi-Wan Kenobi at the end of the episode that despite the fact they've been able to escape the planet, their hyperdrive isn't working in the Empire is right behind them. So it certainly makes a lot of sense that at the beginning of this episode, we see Obi-Wan Kenobi as well as all these other civilians captured by the Empire. Not to mention if Obi-Wan, Leia, and the civilians escape, it's going to be hard to bring Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader back together once again so soon. So from that perspective at least, it seems like the Empire will capture Kenobi so that our main character, Obi-Wan, is going to stay close to his antagonist, Darth Vader and therefore we can get that rematch of the century Kenobi versus Vader. The only problem with that speculation is that the second hit that we get in episode 5 is that somehow Reva is going to survive being impaled by a lightsaber and either herself traveled to Tatooine to threaten Luke Skywalker's life in some way or perhaps to reveal to Darth Vader that he has a son and daughter. And of course the big question there is how does Reva survive being stabbed in the stomach with the lightsaber. And while you could ask the same thing about the Grand Inquisitor, who seems to have survived just fine, and remember in the Phantom Menace, Darth Maul was chopped in two, and he later made a comeback in the Clone Wars animation series, and in that series it was suggested that his hatred was what kept him going and enabled him to survive despite being chopped in half. So is Reva going to fully give in to the dark side and give in to her hatred for Darth Vader so much that it brings her back to life or at least allows her to cling to life? Well, that's certainly not what the rumors have suggested because those rumors suggest that there's a strong possibility that Reva is actually going to be redeemed by the end of this series. Which again, doesn't make a whole lot of sense because Reva was impaled by that lightsaber. That said, and this is just some crazy speculation what if Reva can make it to that Bacta tank that Obi-Wan Kenobi was using earlier in the series? If she could get herself to that Bacta tank, she might just be able to heal herself up enough, allowing herself to be redeemed by maybe rescuing Obi-Wan Kenobi and Princess Leia and taking one more crack at Darth Vader. But hey, Star Wars fans, let me know what you think in the comments below as well. Let me know if you think we're getting yet another flashback to the Clone Wars. Personally, I would absolutely love that. And don't forget, I'll be getting up extra early to do my review. It should be available at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, I'm Mike. Thanks for watching. And remember, the Force will be with you always.